Yes. BYU doing anything you didn't expect to kind of pull down the running game a little bit? Um, we just we just when we looked at the film, we knew they were going to come with you know uh, stack box. I mean, we knew they were going to bring a lot of heat for the running game, you know, and. Um, you know, it wasn't something we didn't expect. You know, everything they brought was to be prepared. Uh, it was just a defensive game, and they, they did a great job. Our defense did a great job. Our offense still came through. And they were a good team. Has it been hard continuity-wise for running backs? You know, they've made a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, last week so so wasn't there. Has that been hard to kind of get a rhythm with with different guys kind of in and out? Um, I think it's. I think the the depth has been good. I think guys have done a great job stepping up for guys who uh, haven't been able to play. And um, I think we're doing a great job so far. You know, just stepping up. The freshmen have been stepping up, and we've been preparing and practice. You know, you know, next man up. So it's just day by day we just take it. Whoever's up, you gotta you know step up and pick up for the last person. Is, is BYU a good kind of test going into Stanford because they both have physical defenses? I think BYU was a great test for us. So I think it was a, a good contender going into Stanford week, and I, I'm happy that we went through that. You know, we we're able to you know see that kind of defense going into Stanford week because they kind of have the same defense and have the same scheme. So it was kind of a a good test for us, and we can make we can clean up our mistakes and you know get ready for Stanford and. Uh, have our scheme ready and have our game plan ready. What types of things do you guys need to do to get the, the run game back on track? I think it's just not having any mistakes, really. Just, you know, if you do your job, what, if each man does their job, the run game should be, you know, it should be uh, a, a good thing. It should be a good, powerful uh, run game throughout the Stanford game. And I think if, uh, I think if we all do our job, running backs, you know the blocks, if the O-line, you know, do their job, you know, everyone does their own their job. I think everything will, you know, pan out, and the run game will be a lot better. What types of mistakes were there against BYU? You know, some like, like backs not, you know, we're not knowing where our blocks really go, and not really, you know, uh, following the schemes. And sometimes, you know, BYU brought a lot of pressure, so it was like it kind of was something different that we haven't seen in a, in a while. But I know it was good that we went through it and we cleaned up our mistakes yesterday and we'll be ready to go for Stanford. What stands out about a guy like Christian McCaffrey when somebody like you watches him on tape? Uh, he's very explosive and uh, he's very talented. Very talented young man and he hits the hole very hard, you know, as a fellow running back watching him it's it's, it's kinda it's really nice seeing a running back in the holes hard because it kinda inspires another running back because that's things that we work on every day, just being explosive and seeing his explosiveness is lets you know that he works really hard and he's a really talented young man and we all work hard too at our running backs and we should you know go through this week and we will look like that too this week look a lot better any other running back you've watched who you might compare him to uh i don't know i, I would say he's kind of he's kind of different because you wouldn't think a small kind of like right. a, his you know his frame the way he runs he runs kind of like he's big and he runs really explosive. He's a very fast guy. And he, he's just talented. He can catch the ball. He can throw the ball. He can do a lot of things. So that's why he's kind of hard to stop. Right. Is there extra motivation heading into this week knowing that UCLA hasn't been able to get over the Stanford hump? Honestly, each game is just the same mindset. You know, every game is the biggest game. Like this week is the biggest game we've ever played. Just like next will be the biggest game we'll ever play. We just, we just have the same mindset. We don't want to you know, change our mindset just for one team and make it a special kind of mind, so we just go into that game getting ready to say and get ready for any other game. It seems like you guys spent the entire offseason talking about how you wanted to get bigger and stronger mm -hmm. to face teams like Stanford. Yeah. So is that kind of a test for things that you've done in the offseason? Or this week um, is kind think, of a test? I think in the offseason we just work hard to just get over this hump of we can't beat teams like Stanford and we're not as physical as teams like Stanford. And I think we've done a great job in the offseason. And I think if you saw our defense last week, they kind of proved that, that we're not soft and we can we can be a great contender to teams like Stanford, and this would be a great show for it. What did you think of Cam Griffin coming back first time we got to see him in a very, very long time? I was very happy. He stepped up and, you know, he did things we knew he could do, and, and now we have two fullbacks, like Cam Griffin, and I knew it would be, it'd be a great showing this Saturday. Thanks. Great.